uh, you don't deserve this stuff. <laughs> Hello fellow gamers, this is Tracy Mancer. I'm here with Future Wolf, and we are reviewing the Useful Pets mod. And basically what this mod does is it allows you to have more useful pets. So they will do more better stuff, and you can give them more health, and they'll attack more, and they're just better all around in every single aspect and everything like that. So, basically how it works. When you spawn in the world, you will get this little thing right here called the Pet Wand, and it comes with instructions. Left click a vanilla tamed pet to convert, which I'll show you in a second. Right click to block right click a block to find converted pets on pets you own. Right click a converted pet for more help. So that's pretty simple. Okay, so I have tamed Future Wolf and I have converted him. Basically what it means when it says convert him, I'll spawn in a new wolf. Let's tame you, buddy. And then I'll just hit him, left click him, and he gets this little bar, and now he is a wolf by the wand and stuff. And when you left click him, it says left click a converted pet with this item to attempt to level up. Shift right click a converted pet to see their inventory and to access their skills. So, we really don't need you, so why don't you just... Yeah, you can't hurt him. You can't hurt your own pets. Which is a pretty good thing, unless you want him dead. Because then, there's really not a good way to get rid of him. So, let's just push you... Come on, push you down the cliff. Get off. Good. Alright, so how it all works. If I right click the ground, it will show all the different pets I own. There's the dog, the other dog, and there's Future Wolf. And then if, when I right click him, it does that again. And if I shift right click him, it will open this. And this is the little pet inventory interface, whatever you want to call it. And you can change his texture from tamed to normal wolf to angry and back. And you see the skills thing? Well, that's because it has this little skills gooey thingy, which is actually really, really neat because you can give them skills, which is awesome. So I'll show you how to level them up and stuff in a second. But first, I need to go over what they eat. Dogs can eat beef and pork to restore health. Cats can eat chicken and fish to restore health. And pigs can eat carrots. That's right, you can tame pigs in this mod. It's pretty insane. But for demonstration purposes, I wanted to use a wolf because, personally, I like these guys the best, and they're the easiest to use. Now, for the pigs, because there's no normal way to tame them in Minecraft, all you have to do is left clip... Oh, wait, there's a pig down there. I can go test it. Alright, so basically what you have to do is you go up to the pig, and you just kind of left click him once and there we go he is now your favorite little pig buddy and if I shift right click him has this little thing and the little piggy dances when I move my mouse dance piggy dance and yeah oh th that's another piggy wow there's a million of them and you can choose your pig skills and all that good stuff but right now it's only ocelots wolves and pigs that you can tame they all do the normal stuff wolves will attack Pigs will attack, and ocelots will attack. Ocelots will scare off creepers, yada, yada, yada. All that normal stuff. But, uh, now... Oh, gosh, she's following me. But now, I'll go ahead and tell you all this stuff for this. So, the way you get skills, you can go in the skills interface, and it looks a lot like a player's, but it's pet skills. See, there's a level. And I have two free points, and I am level two. So... Basically, for every level that you give your pet, you will get a point, well, a free point that you can use. And now I'll show you how to level them up. So basically what you have to do is you have to gain an, one level of experience. If I can get there. Yeah, here we go. So if I give myself one level of experience, then um, I left click him. It I'm missing levels times three. Okay, so... For every level that you already have, you have to add one. So, level four, and it'll also take a coal block. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, see, it took two of my coal blocks, and I leveled him up to level three. So, now if I try and level him up again, it says I'm missing, uh, missing times four levels. So, it gets expensive fast with experience and coal blocks, because you have to feed him that, too. So, now that we've gotten our friend Future Wolf a few... Um, upgrades come on there we go it's kind of confusing so now we've gotten him some upgrades why well some levels why don't we upgrade him 
Okay, so um, inventory com. So there's really four main things. There's inventory space. There's hunger, which um, allows eating, which is good. There's mob repellent, and there's defense. Those are really the four main things. Well, oh nope. There's travel and travel speed, and there's actually a sixth. There's health and hunger and stuff, and it requires level 7. So, you can see that these, if they're dark, require um, a higher level. So, this one requires level 5, which I don't have because I'm level 3. This one requires level 10, which I don't have. And these require 5 and 17 and stuff. But, I can take this. So, once I left-click it once, it'll say taken. And then I have one less free point to use. And now, if I were to shift-right-click him, Look, I've got inventory space, so that's pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is just give myself, like, 30 levels. And then we'll level them, up, level them up a few times. Oh, I'm missing iron ingots now. That's weird. I guess it needs iron ingots, too. Um, I was not aware of this. So, once he gets to level 4, I guess he needs iron ingots. Okay, I've gotten my iron ingots. Now, if I uh, left-click him, yeah, see, it levels him up. And it takes blocks of coal and iron to level him up now. So, uh, be aware of that. And now, he's level 7, so I can do, I can click the armor slot, and then I get that. And, um, that requires level 17 and stuff, but there's also the combat. So, I'm going to click on that, and I took it and then I'm gonna click on that and then I can actually click on that and then that requires level 10 so basically the attack stuff um, the attack damage increases so first he'll get the attack damage of a stone sword then an iron sword and then a diamond sword and the swords look weird and you may notice some other things on my game that look weird cuz I'm using my own custom texture pack so this won't look like this for you but mm, it'll look mostly the same Alright, so eating gross food allows you to eat spider eyes and rotten flesh. So, I've taken that, and I'll eat processed food. I've taken that. So, with each of these little things, they'll do their own stuff. Now, the mob repellent, if I click that, I can get some stuff. So, it'll keep, um, repel or it'll keep skeletons away, spiders away, well, uh, the creepy crawlies away, and the undead away, and this is a radius upgrade so you'll get a higher radius and stuff so that's good and then the traveling speed that'll increase and you can allow them to wear a saddle if they're a pig they'll naturally wear a saddle and then the defense basically it gives you extra defense and um, just a lot of things provides immunity to suffocation and drowning damage so basically they got a respiration helmet for ever I don't know um, provides immunity to fall damage. That's pretty good. I want that. Oh, I'm out of skill points. Okay. And then reduces damage taken by 15%. So that's pretty much everything for this little interface. And there's the health upgrade. So you can upgrade their health by 5 hearts. And then um, that's even better. So that's pretty much the entire mod. All of that is really how it works. So what I'm going to do real quick, just so you guys can see it, is I'm going to get 300 levels. And then we're just going to go all out, give you levels. Oh, it requires blocks of redstone now. So upgrading your pet will be extremely costly. See, it takes all of them. You're missing blocks of coal and iron ingots now. Okay, hold on. By the way, if you're doing this on survival mode, up oh, gold ingots now. Well, if you're doing this on creative mode, I meant to say, then you actually don't have to give up any of your <clears throat> valued resources. So you can, oh, the pig's angry. No, you stupid pig, get out of here. Uh, you don't deserve the stuff. I'm missing iron ingots again. I might as well just get a billion of them. Why not? Okay, so I wouldn't run out of everything. I just got a billion of everything. So now we should just be able to level you. Oh, it wants diamonds now. Really? Are you sure you want diamonds? Because those are extremely expensive. But as you can see, guys, um... There's a lot of expensive stuff that goes into this. but And now he's maximum level. So when we right click on him, his maximum level is 20. Notice you only have 13 free skill points. Once he is level 20, 
you have the max amount of free points you're going to get. Um, you might as well get that. That's nice. Once you use up all your free points after you get to level 20, that's it. You're not getting any more, so I suggest choose wisely. What do you want? Make sure you know exactly what you want. I want to keep the undead away. Yes. I want to make mountable. Yes. I also want to have a weapon slot. Now, the weapon slot is actually something really, really freaking amazing, which I will show you right now because it's so freaking amazing. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. So, the weapon slot. Basically, it allows you to give them claw covers. Yeah, there's diamond, iron, and gold, and as you can imagine, they have their uh, respective properties. So, diamond is the strongest, iron second strongest, gold is the weakest, and gold will run out the fastest, diamond will last the longest. I'm actually not sure if these have durability, but... Now, since I got the armor slot and the um, little rideable thing, you can see here on Future Wolf, he has a place for armor and a saddle, and now he's got um, item slots as well. So this has actually been a pretty lengthy mod review. I did not expect it to take this long, but I'm actually really quite sure that that is everything now. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, like if you liked it, uh, like like a lot i don't know subscribe if you want to see more and i'll see you guys in the next video there will be a down link to the mod in the description and i'm just rambling on at this point so bye